the Joe Rogan experience. Now, is this because you guys don't have, I mean, how much of influence do record companies have on new bands? Like when new bands are coming up and they're trying to put together their music, how much influence do record companies have on the creative process? It just depends. Did they discover them or are they already, are they, are they jumping on board with something that's already working? Uh, well, I mean, uh, someone like in a, as an artist, like someone looking at you as an artist, to go, yeah, you let him do whatever the fuck he wants, you know, like let him, let him. No, that's a very rare thing. It's rare. If with you're executives. dealing with record companies, you right? Know. Yeah, I, I had to. I got it contractually written into my contract that nobody could tell me what to do. So it's common that you get fucked with. Well, I mean, everybody's gonna have their two cents, right. their input. There's gonna. Here's what we really want you to want to do. Right, because you like this brought, probably I would think there would be executives who go, stop, stop fucking with it right there. Just leave it right there. Trust me. Put well, it out like that. Those would be like actual record men, the guys that used to run the record business. Like they knew what the real shit was, and you don't fuck with the real shit. But there's very few of those people actually working in the record business anymore. It's all like 25, 30-year-old bottom line quarterly report motherfuckers. Uh, you know, It's all about the money. Yeah. But wouldn't you think that excellence would bring money, like a, sp especially today, in this day and well, yeah. age with the internet? They, the, could, the they way can sell excellence, but yeah. then they have to work and find it, as just, opposed to like formulating this tried and true Mrs. Butterworth recipe. Proven, yeah. You know, yeah. just give me seventeen of those. I get it. I would just would suck to be in a business with art. You know, well, or like you're thinking about it like a business, <laughs> yeah. But it's art. Yeah, it's a product. It, but your music is art. You get enough people art. involved, anything turns into a product, right? Yeah. But it's just the the business aspect of it. Like someone trying to think about what's the best way to sell it. What's the best way to What's the best way to push it? What if we changed this and added that? What if we put some gospel singers in the background? What if we did this? What if we, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you've avoided it. What if we get this person to like yeah. rap a verse on it? How'd you avoid it? What, what did you, you What did you do to avoid most of that bullshit? Uh, <laughs> still figuring it out. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just didn't, didn't do it. I say no a lot. I think that's the thing to say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lazy as shit too. <laughs> so like, you know, I gotta really want to do something. Yeah. Especially when you don't have to, right? Right. Man, what were you doing at 35 when you quit? Mm. You working at a railroad I was, shop? I was an operations manager at a rail yard, an uh, uh, intermodal yard out in Utah. Wow. Like running a rail yard, uh, just overseeing the switching crews that when the trains would pull in from the east and west side of the yard, we would break those trains apart and like look at other manifests and drag cars off other rails and build them into those trains and then crew them again and get them on the line. Damn. So I was working like 90 hour weeks, Whew. mostly cleaning up train wrecks and derailments or like they blew a switch and put three cars on the ground. We, we, we were the central artery in the, in the Midwest or the really that, that corridor is kind of the cross section of the entire country's shipping commerce. So if we fucked up and tied up the main lines, then we kind of shut down the railroad. Do you know what's fucked up? You could never tell a kid, Hey, you want to, you want to make meaningful music. This is what you got to do. You got to struggle. In like difficult jobs till you're about 35 and you know barely get to where you want to be where you're really kind of freaking out about your future and then pour yourself your heart and soul and then find success after that that's a good move if you want to have impactful music <laughs> but if you if you get into music like early on in your life and make a career early on in your life you miss everything that you did by being an older like you're you know a 35 year old man that makes a jump yeah that's a I mean, bold that, move. That makes sense, but there's been a lot of incredible artists that made some truly visionary shit at 20, you know. For sure. But um, there's a life experience aspect to your music. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't know what the f I wouldn't have any of this shit to write about if I'd done it at 20. Yeah. Um, I'd be right. God knows what I'd be writing about. Probably pussy. <laughs> 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 yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. And you're young? What else? What are you thinking about? You know, if you're talking about stars and horoscopes and shit, you're probably bullshitting people. <laughs>